Hi and welcome to my second video about the Mate X. After the last one I did, uh, which was the review, sorry, there's a lot of traffic kind of running past at the moment. Um, after the last one I did, I got a lot of comments about my bike, what were the parts that I used on it, um, how have I modified it. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video on all of the modifications that I've done to this, but I'm not gonna go through any of those in too much detail. But if you do um, wanna know more about any of the things that I talk about today, let me know in the comments below and maybe I make like another video specifically on that or um, you know I can answer in the comments and you know help you guys out with any of the modifications that you want to do as well. I did get quite a few comments last time about why why would people want to watch me riding the bike around so just for you guys uh, here's some extra b-roll um, of me riding the bike. So in this video, I'm gonna run quickly through all of the upgrades that I've made to the bike. For disclosure though, I you know, didn't get this bike for free. I haven't received any money for doing this review from Mate or any of the uh, manufacturers or distributors of those parts, nor did I get any of these free. I bought all of this with my own money. If you're interested in um, a particular upgrade, I'm gonna list those out below with the time codes in there so you can jump straight to that section if you want to. Otherwise, I have nine upgrades to go through um, one by one with you today. What I get asked about more on this bike, more than anything, and I think it's because it stands out and changes the look and appearance of the bike so much, is the handlebars. And I love the look of the BMX handlebar. Uh, it looks really cool. It looks like how the bike should have been. I wasn't the biggest fan of the folding stem and it kind of extends out forwards, which to me was a bit just just kind of odd. And, you know, so I wanted to update this with the BMX version and this is a really, really easy upgrade. It took me about 15 minutes. Um, so if you're not changing the front fork as well, um, you literally unbolt three bolts using an Allen key. And then basically you just unclip the original stem, put the new BMX stem on, and bolt the new handlebar onto that stem and you are good to go. Essentially, you don't get the folding uh, mechanism anymore, which does make it harder to transport. You also don't get the height adjustment on the handlebars, which for me was a bit strange anyway. None of my bikes have had um, a handlebar adjustment before. Just a word of warning, depending on the bars, the original screen that comes with the bike um, may not fit on the crossbar, which is not so bad because you can normally fit it on the, um, the bottom part with the, the stem. It's just like you're looking down a lot further. And the other thing is, is that once you put that into the center, the uh, cable that goes to the control isn't very long on the original screen. So you kind of have to mount that somewhere else other than right next to where your thumb is. But I got around this with the next modification and that is the Egg Rider uh, version two. This is a tiny, tiny screen, plus it has the buttons all integrated into it, and it's a really, it's, it's probably the easiest modification that you can do. The weird thing for me is that it's polarized in the wrong way, so if you wear polarized sunglasses, you can't see the screen when you're riding it, which is slightly annoying, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter. The screen is, is pretty small as well, so you don't tend to look at anything other than what assist level you're in maybe the speed. There's a few other things that I think is um, not quite right on there. So um, 
I've had to change to nine speed levels. Um, the five speed levels gives you nothing for the first two or three speed levels and then gives you everything um, for the other two. So when you switch it to nine, it's a much more gradual change. I don't think that's actually an egg rider thing. That's something to do with the controller in the bike, but um, it's just something to be aware of. The other part is the battery size isn't accounted for um, in the options that are available to select at the moment, uh, which means that you don't know necessarily the exact percentage of battery that you have left and the range isn't quite right. It has a Bluetooth connection, so it gives you the option to use a mobile phone as a giant screen if you want to, and you can track everything um, using that, uh, including GPS, but then your phone, that's what you use to change the settings on there as well. And if anyone needs to know what settings I'm using for that, I'm happy to kind of post that uh, later on as well. The tires, this does change the look of the bike drastically. It also changes the handling, the noise, the rolling resistance. And I think one of the biggest things that people are complaining about is how easy the original tires were to puncture. I've switched mine to uh, V-tire speedsters, but you do notice the difference. The noise is so much less. They do change the look of the bike. It looks really cool. If you're riding on street, if you're going off-road, these aren't great. Um, number four is the chain ring. This is a really easy upgrade. I think it's like five bolts that you just take off with an Allen key, you bolt the new one on, and then you're good to go. And the reason why I did this is that in the original bike, as you start pedaling, you get above 20 kilometers an hour, and it feels like you're pedaling in air, kind of not really getting any traction there. So by upgrading this to a 5080, allows you to continually pedal like at higher speeds. It's much better than the original. It's a cheap upgrade. It's really quick to do. You know, I would suggest that you do that. Uh, we've had a few people asking, do you need to change the chain? I didn't on my bike. I just put it on there, put the new chain on there. I did have to adjust the derailleur at the back. Um, and you know, I didn't know how to do this either. I will leave a link to the park tools video that taught me how to do this as I was doing it. Number five is the pedals. The original pedals, I didn't have a huge issue with them. They weren't great, but you know, it was, it was okay. Until about two weeks in, they started clicking where the bearings had gone already. I wasn't even riding the bike that hard, but they are slippery as well. So I wanted to change these to some mountain bike pedals. Uh, unfortunately here in Switzerland, if you're riding a bike on the road, you need to have the amber reflectors. That's kind of one of the rules that we have here. One of the only pedals that allowed me to do that, that was also a mountain bike pedal, were these from KCNC. These are made of magnesium, I believe. They're a lot lighter than the original pedals, and you'll see this in some of the upgrades that I've been doing. Um, I've been trying to reduce the weight of the bike somewhat, but they look really good. Again, a really easy upgrade. Allen key in the back of the pedal, you can just undo that with a few turns. Take the pedal off, put the new one on, and you're good to go. And I I think those are a standard size, so any pedals that you want to put on the bike should be okay. Reflectors. Uh, so the reflectors that come with the bike, I still have no idea how those work. They're like pretty bulky as well. So I did have, and you can see this on the previous video, the 3M spoke reflectors that you just snap on, uh, which are really bright. Um, I just don't like the look of them on the bike, so I wanted to clean that up a little bit. And so. I looked at uh, this reflective rim tape um, from Custom Taylor 33. I will leave a link to that below as well. I got it in black, so typically it looks like there isn't anything on the wheel until a light shines on it, and then it's extremely bright. One thing to note on this, if you do want to order rim tape, you have to order it for a 16 inch wheel, not a 20 inch wheel. 16 inches, that's what you need. That's what I have on my bike. That's what my girlfriend has on her bike now as well. And the black tape is awesome because it doesn't show up. Um, whatsoever. The rear suspension, I don't know where to start on the suspension that came with the bike and it was bad, it was just bad. There was like a, I think there's a spring in there or something like that and you know going over a bump you just kind of bottomed out on that and it felt like really bouncy. It was kind of like the first rear suspension from the 90s had called its younger less refined runt brother told him to come over and attach himself to this bike you know it's bad so i got this from dnm um, which has apparently been replaced with a newer version with just one valve um, but they're essentially the same thing this has a lockout adjustment you can pressurize this to 
uh, accommodate your weight. This is like another five minute upgrade. It's two bolts. And as long as you've got it with the right bushings, it swaps straight in. I think it's the AOY36C. There's a newer version called the 38C that doesn't have all of the adjustments, um, but apparently is a little bit more reliable. The front suspension fork, the original fork felt like one of those comedy bikes that you get at a carnival that bounces around all over the place. It doesn't dampen bumps and you know going around corners at speed with that as well doesn't give you the biggest amount of confidence. And the new fork, even though it's cheap, is so much more controlled on that rebound. It completely changes the handling of the bike. You feel a lot more confident when you're taking corners at speed um, and just riding around in general is just a nicer experience. Changing this is one of the biggest must-dos. It's actually not that difficult. It involves you, uh, you know, buying a new fork of the same size, just cutting the top of that, the fork tube, and then bolting it together. Again, that took me about maybe 30 minutes, saves so much weight. I think the new fork is around 1.5 kilograms lighter than the original. This is one from Himalo, which I bought on AliExpress. Most riders are buying these or the Passac P35, which is essentially the same thing, or the ATAR, which is from Alibaba, also rebranded as the Recon fork in the US. And they do change the bike geometry slightly because the fork itself is a little bit longer as it travels further. I would say that even though this modification requires a little bit more work, I'm not exactly DIY inclined. Before doing this, I didn't know anything about maintenance on bikes. I used to take it to a shop and get them to do it. But you know, this only took me 30 minutes to change. It's less of a modification, but it's kind of an essential. The bike draws a lot of attention, so I don't tend to leave this outdoors but when I do I need a lock so I have got Abus Extreme Granite like the biggest one they do this is actually for a motorbike it weighs about three kilos so normally I carry this on a rucksack when I'm riding but my girlfriend attaches it to the rear rack of her bike um, and although it's a beast it would be it's 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 a really good lock but just make sure that you get like a good lock we've seen a few people having their bikes stolen already thanks so much for watching uh, i think that's it for this video if you want to know any more about any of the modifications that i've made to this bike please let me know in the comments below i might do a video might just uh, comment back to help you guys out if you've done any other modifications to your bike um, or something that you think i should have uh, done here also let me know in the comments um, that will help out some of the other guys that are looking uh, for parts for their bikes as well. Just wanna say a big thank you to all of those guys that commented on the last uh, video that I did about this bike. Um, the comments will be really helpful for other people kind of looking for uh, other experiences around that. A lot of the experience of these bikes at the moment is in closed Facebook groups, so not that easy to find. Also, thanks for um, sharing some of the other bikes that are out there that look a bit like these ones as well. Um, all of those can be upgraded with the same type of parts. But anyway, see you in the next one and thanks for watching. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on Neighborhood all in your ear